Hi everyone, I'm Will Frost, the Director of Talent Development at Grove Cedar Valley. Today, my coworker Sandy Summerfeld and myself are going to share with you some tips when it comes to virtual interviews. As businesses and organizations are hiring, the interview process is moving to a virtual format and we want to help set you up for success, both as an interviewer and the interviewee. Hey Sandy, want to get us started? Thanks Will. As Will mentioned, I'm Sandy, VP of Operations for Grow Cedar Valley. And I'll dive into a few tips to help the business or organization that's hosting the interview. It's not only the interviewee that needs to make a good first impression, but it's vital for you and your business. So here's a few tips when conducting a virtual interview. First, test the technology, especially if it's a new platform. Second, communication is key. Since this will be held virtually, clearly communicate the process and your expectations and send links and reminders to make sure both parties are on the same page. Third, provide your direct phone number to the candidate. So if there are technology issues or conflicts arise, they know how to get a hold of you. Fourth, think about how you can communicate your company's culture without being physically present in the office. And fifth, Get feedback from the candidate about the experience to help you improve your future virtual interviews. Those are some great tips, Sandy. I'm sure many of us have not had to interview virtually before. No worries. Here are a few tips to prepare and make sure your virtual interview goes smooth. Number one, dress the part. This helps you make a great first impression the moment you hop on the call. Number two, Consider your surroundings. Do you have papers lying all around or other items that could be distracting to you or the person interviewing you? If so, try to move them out of the view of your camera. Number three, consider your internet. Open up your computer at least an hour before your interview to make sure your internet's working or what your backup plan will be if it were to go out. Number four, and really this should go without saying, don't ghost the interview. Honesty is important. If you change your mind, have tech issues or conflict arise, make sure you communicate that. And number five, body language. Since you are not in person for a handshake, make sure you're making eye contact and are comfortable where you're sitting to help with confidence. Those are some great notes, Will. As you and your business are conducting virtual interviews, make sure to keep these tips in mind. Thanks for checking in today. And as always, feel free to reach out to myself, Will, or any of our Gross Cedar Valley team anytime.